In today's video, I'm going to be going over a guide for the hot tier of Kuchu, or the second tier. In addition, I'm also going to be going over how you can defeat the dropship, which is what most people get stuck on. This is advice for people with terms and without. If you don't have a term, you can do this for pretty cheap as well. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the world to me. Sub, sub, and sub. Let's get into it. Second tier of Kuchu is unlocked with 1,000 rep and costs you 200k to enter. Now, the second tier of Kuchu is very similar to the first tier, except it has an extra phase at the end, which is with the base on Alpha. Basically speaking, you have to shoot Kudra, kill him, kill his tentacles first, and then shoot the actual the main guy itself, and shoot the orbs to fly around. And if you aren't able to shoot them, they will provide very strong buffs to Kudra. For example, heal him for 200,000 health, or just summon him up. So make sure you shoot those as well. The part most people get stuck on, and the reason why a lot of people can do it, is because of the dive bomb gas, the dropship. The dropship is by far the hardest part. What this is, is there's a gas that will fly around the outside, and you have about like 15 to 20 seconds, I don't know exactly how long, and you have to hit him 200 times. And if you fail to hit him 200 times, he will kill every single person in your party instantly. So usually people need to turn to this. But I'm going to be going over about 5 other alternative methods that you can do, or combined with term, to actually make this a whole lot easier. First one, I recommend doing this, even if you have term, I recommend you doing this. This is having tarantula boots or spider boots on you, during the boss fight or during during the dive fight this is actually so 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 huge because let's just pretend that this that some of these gasps are the actual boss itself if i double jump i'm able to much easier fly through the sky and actually deal with them than having to teleport because if i have to do it with bows which is what you do flying through it makes it very very easy to stay up to speed with the gas and make sure make sure they don't actually you know get away from you and you don't really have to aim either you just have to kind of like hover up and shoot that's method number one i recommend doing that with even term as well do that with anything it's so so incredibly good that's the first thing i recommend doing second thing if you can't afford a term here's the bows you should use you should use an arsenal short bow or a venom's touch arsenal short bow is the exact same thing as a juju Except it's just cheaper, and does less damage, but damage doesn't matter here, it's all about getting those hits in. Once again, I also recommend you pairing this with the boots, so that way you can just shift up and continuously spam. That was the guy, and I had hit him X amount of times in order to do that. That's the second way, using Arsenal Strip Bow. You can also use Venom's Touch. If I'm sneaking up here, once again, let's just pretend. This shoots five arrows at once, so if you're right up next to him, and like inside of him you can very easily get like these five arrow hits off very in like rapid succession so i do rec also recommend doing that as well now let's go over the price comparisons for all the items i just went over and i'll go over one last final or two last final things you can do first let's go over arsenal short bow costs 800 coins it's cheap right venom's touch is going to cost you what looks to be 400 000 coins it's pretty good you also use hurricane if you search up Hurricane, some of the higher tier versions, if you have enough shot or kills with it, will also shoot four times. So go with whatever is cheaper, but have a bow that will shoot like four or five times. Venom's touch is usually the better option for that. The Juju, Juju costs like 20 to 40 million coins, depends on how max that you get it. And for the boots, you can either use Tarantula boots, or you can actually use Spider boots. Spider boots are, out, are found in the Shocker string collection. And then you'll be crafted with two stacks of enchanted string, which will cost you. My bad, that's because you have four stacks of enchanted string. I just said that wrong. So 320,000 coins to get this. This is all you need. You can also use strange boots, which are for like 1.5 million coins. Grab yourself some sort of boots so you can fly through the air. That is actually a very, very useful thing. And last and finally, this is only as a like last precaution type thing. If you find that you aren't doing enough damage and you've done everything that you've told that I've told you to do so far, you can use two armor sets during this time. However, it can be kind of difficult to swap to. First one is gonna be werewolf, second one is going to be terror. I'll go over which one is the better method to use. There's also technically a third method you can do, but I'll go over that a little bit as well. So terror armor, very simply, is A, I have really good terror armor. Terror armor is cracked, it's insane. Highly recommend. Terror armor, what it does is you shoot after hitting monsters enough time, you shoot two extra bows. So if I wear full terror armor, as you can see, I'm now shooting three arrows. And if I shoot myself a Venom's Touch, I looks like I'm shooting seven arrows. And I'm shooting seven arrows. I'm shooting three on top, four on the side. So seven arrows from Venom's Touch, and I'm shooting like the usual. I'm shooting three from Juju. Basically speaking, this just triples the amount of shots, or adds two extra shots you can do. So triples if you're using Juju or Arsenals. Almost doubles if you're using Term. 
and adds more views and Venom Touch. This is just an extra armor set to do if you find you're struggling with it. This is a good armor set in the first place. The issue is it can be kind of difficult because you're not going to be able to swap to your wardrobe because they're usually in combat. So you have to manually take off your armor. For example, let's just pretend I'm wearing this and I'm in combat. What you'd have to do is you'd have to like take off the armor set and then put it back on. You'd also want to have tower boots on so you can like do that as well. Honestly, the best thing I recommend you doing is having some sort of thing to get mana so you can continuously spam tower boots. And also having terror, like two force terror, so you can continuously fly around, shoot, and then shoot all of the arrows you need to do. So you can just like continue to fly and stay hovered, all while shooting and doing that. Now, if you don't want to afford terror, because terror is currently priced, it kind of whacks people realizing how you actually get the upgraded armor set. Other set you can use is going to be werewolf. Werewolf, it's just ferocity, it's simple as that. Something else you can do as well, but it's more expensive, is going to be uh, the Ferocious Mana. Now, Ferocious Mana um, is bugged right now. It's actually ridiculous. It's crazy OP, but it's also relatively expensive, but you only need Tier 1 on your stuff. If I search up Ferocious, we can see I have Ferocious Mana going for like 500, 600k. What it says is getting 0.1% of mana used near you as Ferocity for 10 seconds capped at 300 Ferocity. Right, that makes sense. 300 per piece, that means you get a total of like, you get a shit ton of frosty, right? You can get 300 frosty. Which means you will be guaranteed to hit four times every single time you shoot one. And it's only 0.1% of mana is turned into this. Thing is, in this boss fight, everyone uses hypes. Meaning there is no sort shortage of mana use. If I hit this once, he gains like two ferocity. If four of the people are hitting their Hyperion or their Valkyrie or whatever it is to kill mobs, you're gonna have no shortage of man, you're gonna have a shit ton of ferocity. So that's the other thing you can do. Basically speaking, um, Tara Boots, first off. And then if you're looking for bows, you can go Arsenal Strip Bow, Venom's Touch, or Juju. Then you can also pair this with Terror Armor or Werewolf Armor or First Just Man if you find that's not enough. But generally in the cases, I have found that that actually is enough. If you have a full squad that's running, it's running like Venom's Touch with um, Spider Boots, you can do it. And as there's also the positive of you're not going to get hit by the mobs on the ground anyways. So it's honestly a lot better to do. Either way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe or just in the world to me. See you guys next one. Peace out.